Yeah. You're up. Okay, so JI Engineering Firm presents Bridge on a Budget and the Igloo. So this is my design brief. Um, I was the lead engineer, and the problem sta statement was that polar bears of Snowville need to travel from one iceberg to another, but they're too lazy to swim, and so they demand a couple of bridges be built, and like one of them has to be as cheap as possible, and then the other one has to be visually appealing. And so the design statement, um, what I just said, like the bridge, bridge one has to be as cheap as possible while still being functional, and bridge two has to have an interesting design, but it can be um, any cost. And here's the criteria for this constraints. And so the first bridge, um, I used like carbon steel and to make it because it was the cheapest material. And this is the animation. <laughs> and the design states the design summary. It was made of. 14 joints and 26 membranes. Um, the bars were used for the six for six of the membranes on the bottom, and then the rest of the membranes were made from, from tubes because it was cheaper than like having a full bar. And I used 12 feet of excavation, so it would be lower to the ground, so, I, so that less material would be required to build it across. And then I just used the medium strength concrete. And the total cost ended up being $191,489. New record. And then this is my second bridge. Um, I just made it look like whatever. Like it kind of looks like an igloo. Kind of. Ooh, it doesn't even move. The polar bears would be proud. And the, and the bridge summary for that one, um, it was 34 joints and 86 membranes. I used quenched and tempered steel material because it was the most expensive, but cost didn't matter. So. And all the bars are 500 millimeters, which I think was like the largest size. And then I just used 12 feet excavation, and I used the high strength concrete. And the total cost um, ended up being $9,840,000. Nice. Good backstory.